Oh, that's sad. There's nobody out there on that fire table working. That's so sad. Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. Now, the point I was trying to make with that intro is make sure that you find time, you make time in your life to do the things that you love to do. And apparently from that intro, the things I love to do is eat and demonstrate fire techniques. Today, what I want to do is, well, let me tell you this. I am tired of waiting to find sort of a mangled up Bic on the side of the road somewhere, something that I can experiment with. Sort of been in the back of my mind, I wanted to see, you know, if the case is all cracked up and almost completely gone, if I'd still be able to use it, if I'd even have enough to hold on to, to take these guards off or to utilize a mangled up Bic. I'm tired of waiting. That one had just a little bit of gas still in it. This one is empty. All right. I think they are both empty now. You think? <laughs> All right. Now. Let's take the guards off and let's try to use them. Now, if people tell you that these guards are easy to take off, I have never found one of these guards that's easy to take off. I have broken the tip of my knife off before. But you wanna, you see where it snaps down into the body there? Right here and here. I like to try to get up underneath there and release that where it's snapped into that little opening right there. And then it'll come right off. This uh, sleeve has got it covered up. Let me take the sleeve off. Now I can see it. And then these two guards that go over the striker wheel. Oh, this one's already off. This one here, I like to just bend it all the way back as far as it'll go and it just pops out. So as usual, we're in the wind. Let's go ahead and try the easiest thing we know right now. We'll try some uh, toilet paper. And since the toilet paper has to be held on this very slick section here and here, it makes it easier if you'll take and scrape, scrape it just a little bit, get rid of some of that slickest part of the plastic. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna give you a close up. Now, Sort of roll this into a tube. Boy, the wind has really started kicking up, but I am not surprised. And just the slightest of little points on there. And we're gonna stick it. There's those little pieces of plastic that I scraped off of there. I'm gonna stick it up under that striker wheel and hold it. Hold it with our finger or our thumb. 
You see that? All right, I'm gonna hold it with my index finger instead of my thumb, and the wind has ceased for a second, so let's go ahead and try to do it. Good. That was the white one. We'll try the same thing with the red one. Tough to do it in the wind. I'm gonna roll it up. Try to make just the least little, least little bit of point on the end. And that's what we're gonna stick down inside the lighter. Now, yes, I'm well aware of taking and slowly grinding the wheel, building up a pile of shavings and then fire off that shavings, but this is just the way that I like to do it. I personally think this is quicker and better and more fun to do it this way. Boy, well, that wind at my back, I'm not gonna be able to do this with the wind blowing this hard. Let's wait for the wind to pass. All right, now. It's ignited to amber, but not to flame. There you have it. Now, let's do one more ignition where I take, I don't know, let's, let's put some fabric underneath there. Some fabric without ashes on it. It'll actually ignite fabric. And then we'll go ahead and end this video. Hold on, I'll go get some t-shirt material. This is the cleanest t-shirt material I could find. Once again, the challenge is the wind is gonna be trying to blow it out. Let's just really cause this tip right here to extend and that's what we'll stick down inside the lighter. And the red lighter has the strongest uh, spring under the flint, so that's what we're gonna use, the red one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's try to pull out a little sharp area right here in the corner. Under that striker wheel. Now that the wind's not blowing, let's go for it. There we go. I hope I can slow that down so you can see that the fabric was lit. All right, y'all. Well, I finally got to try out some mangled up. Good night. Getting over close to the phone there. Uh, finally got an opportunity to try some mangled up Bix. They work just fine. 
So I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll catch you on the next one.